In today's lesson, I want to go ahead and have the enemy ships disappear when we go ahead and restart the game. But before we go ahead and start with that, there is one little thing I admitted last time that we need to fix. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my code. And we're in the Asteroid Manager. I'm going to come down to where we destroy the asteroids. Now, if we take a look, we're going to go ahead and iterate through this list of asteroids and we're going to call it self-destruct method, which goes ahead and does the particle effect and uh, causes it to blow up. Uh, we also need to remove it from the list. So instead of removing each one individually, what I'm going to do is come down after the for loop and just call clear on the whole list. Now we're there when we start the game again, uh, the, the list that we have for asteroids is fresh and new, and we don't have to worry about it trying to destroy stuff that does not exist. So I'm gonna save this one here off, and I guess we'll jump straight into, well, what, what, what do we want here? Enemy something. We have enemy movement. I don't want enemy spawner. Last time we went ahead and created a list of the things that were spawned through the asteroid spawner and then destroyed it that way. This time we'll do things a little bit different. And instead of keeping a list, we'll just go ahead and just call destroy on the actual object itself. So either enemy movement or attack, I'm gonna go with movement. And we already have it on enable and on disable, so great. We can go ahead and just add the events here. So let me see, we'll come down and I'll do it right under on enable. We can go ahead and move it later. I'll do it quite similar to the way we did it with the, the asteroids. I'm gonna have a self-destruct. Now, I do not want to have a particle system go off with this here. I just want them to disappear. As when the game starts for, for the, the next wave, I don't want to have all these particle effects still reminiscent on the screen. So let's just go ahead and destroy it. So we'll go ahead, add that event now. Okay, manager dot on, was it start game? Yeah. And I'll call self-destruct. Then of course on disable, we want to go through and make sure we stop listening. Then in here, I'm just going to say destroy and we'll just tell it to destroy ourselves. There we go. Let's go ahead. We'll test this out and then we can move on to something new. So I'll go ahead and start the game up. There's no errors. I'm going to go ahead and start the, the play button. I'm going to wait for a few of them to spawn. I think we got a few enemies here. Whoops, I already got hit. We really got to shorten their range. And the amount of wobbles they do to us. Come on. Enough of you out there. Finish me. There we go. So we've blown up. We got all the explosions going off. Oh, we should clean those up too. Let's do that next. Uh, but we got our enemies here. Then when we go ahead and hit play, they disappear. So let's go ahead and clean up all these explosions. Now, all of those explosions are being generated, I believe, just by the asteroid itself, right? No, it's the explosion script. And if we come down, blow up right here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and save off what we create as a game object, and I'm just gonna call it, uh, oh, let's just call it temp as we only need it for one line. Now, because we're saving this off as a game object means we also have to cast it as a game object. So the very next line underneath it, we're just gonna say destroy, well, let's say delay destroy. The particle system. Or effect as we have it called up top. And we'll do it just like we did in well, I think it's the first method we have in this script. We'll just go ahead and say destroy temp. And after so much time, I don't know, three seconds sound good. Might need to be lengthened depending on the explosion that you're using. But I'm just going to throw it up there for now. And then after that, we go ahead and destroy self. And that should be it. So let's go ahead. We'll save that off. We'll jump back in. Take a look at those changes. All the particle systems should last for three seconds after the explosion and then disappear. So we'll start. I'm going to quickly, ah, crap, hit stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Blow up, all of them blow up. And then they all disappear. Great. The next thing I want to do is actually go out and start finding some assets for us to incorporate into our project. So let's go ahead, we'll end this video here and we can start that in the, the next, next video. As always, I'll see you there. Bye-bye. 
So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You'd be a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>